Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing the DYS DS30 Amp ESC. Uh, this will be going through my testing environment. We're going to be testing voltage spike, noise, and voltage drops on this guy. Now this is going to be considered in the budget ESC range, so it's low end in price point. I don't know quality, we're going to have to test that and figure that out. Um, it is a 30 amp ESC and it's stating it could take a 3 to a 5S. It's rocking a BB2 chip, which means it supports all the way up to DSHOT 600. And I believe it's DSHOT 600 ready now. All these come nowadays that are ready, just the uh, filter capacitor removed. So, and the burst on this guy is a 35 amp burst. I don't know, it's not stating how many seconds, but we can say 5 seconds maybe, or even less, 2 to 5 seconds. Uh, does it have a back? No, it does not have a back. Uh, there is no back on this guy, and he's pretty small. So the website's stating that it's 6.7 grams, and let's quickly measure it. So the width is 15 millimeters, and now let's check the length. Length is around 28 millimeters, so it was kind of difficult to do it on camera, so I kind of did it off camera. Um, it is rocking the BL Heli S software, which is awesome, and... There's really nothing I could say to it. It's, it's pretty cheap, actually. It's uh, $8.50 for one. Well, it's, it's a pack of four for $34 on being good. That's where I got this guy from. And um, they probably sell between $8.50 to $9 each. So they are cheap. They're, they're, I think there's a, is, they're even cheaper than the Racer Star 35 amp ESCs, these guys. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to compare them with the Racer Star 35 amp ESCs. And I would consider this in the same price category. So uh, we can get a good reference with these guys. So, all right guys, so let's get started. Alright guys, so as we just saw from the test right now, uh, these actually, um, they actually beat my expectations. I didn't expect them to be this good. I thought it would be probably a little bit better than the Emacs Bullet and a little bit better than the uh, Razer Star 35 Amp ESC. They, they are quite noticeably a bit better. Maybe, what, I would say like 35% maybe, and in my opinion, and in noise and in voltage drops and spikes. Now, the voltage spike was a 25.2 volt on this guy, uh, which is pretty high it's it's decent it's good it's okay but it's high it's in the high part and the racer star was uh the voltage spike was 26.6 .6, so that's about what 1.4 volt more i'll have this on the screen for you guys so <clears throat> now let's move to the voltage drop the voltage drop is very important it's more important to me than the voltage spike i mean unless there's a very crazy voltage spike the voltage drop on this was 11.8 so a 12 volt regulator would not um, give you a VTX black, or it has a very low chance of giving you a VTX blackout with this ESC. With the Racer Star 35 amp ESC, you're getting 7.6 volt on a voltage drop. So that that's that's just a that's just a VTX blackout if you're on 12 volt regulator. It's a high chance, high probability you'll be getting on hard rolls VTX blackouts with the Racer Star MS series. This guy very low chance. Uh, there's still a chance, but it's low. So that that's very good. Um, now, in noise perspective, this guy did outdid the Racer Star and possibly outdid the Emacs Bullet a tiny bit. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to the Emacs Bullet review. Um, but this guy is pretty good. This is this is good bang for your buck, I would say. So so far, this is the cheapest, best uh, ESC I have tested by far so far. And um, there will be more cheap ones coming on the way, and we will be testing them out. But you will have you might notice some noise, but I. Don't think you'll notice uh, VTX blackouts with this guy, or you just have a very low probability of uh, witnessing uh, uh, VTX blackouts. And this is going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped you out there, and please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. See you guys.